Welcome to Global Perspectives. With Labor Day behind us, the Federal Reserve may be well advised to open a history book for a refresher. It was only a few years ago that a long period of rock-bottom interest rates spawned the worst housing bubble in memory, which in turn led to conditions in September and October 2008 that then-Fed Chair Ben Bernanke categorized as the worst financial crisis in global history, including the Great Depression. Current Chair Janet Yellen is no doubt well aware of the risks of extended accommodation and has spent 2014 tapering the central bank's asset purchase program in preparation for an October completion. But as the domestic economy continues to gain momentum and risk markets rise ever higher, more decisive action will be needed and soon. In fact, we expect the Fed to accelerate its timetable for interest rate hikes to March 2015 or even earlier. That's right. Janet Yellen is really a hawk in Dove's clothing. With rising short rates, deflation risk in Europe, flaring geopolitical risk, and U.S. equities at all-time highs, where do we go from here? In terms of market fundamentals, corporate earnings are front and center after the latest blockbuster reporting season. In fact, it was such a good earnings season for the U.S. companies with half their revenues from overseas, it's no wonder that global M&A activity has reached levels not seen since 2007. We see going forward sustainable economic growth in the U.S. and globally, making it increasingly self-evident that a zero-rate policy has passed its usefulness. In fact, if passed as prologue, then Fed Chair Yellen should be more fearful of being behind the curve than in front of it. We expect she is and will act accordingly. This means higher rates, a stronger dollar, and faster economic growth, resulting in adjustments, both positive and negative, to U.S. financial assets. Investors should ensure that they, too, are ahead of the curve by globally diversifying their portfolios to protect against a bevy of risks and to enhance wealth. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.